Hey folks, it's Tom Moore coming to you from Remax Nova here in Halifax. Today we're doing a video on the pros and cons of living in Halifax, Nova Scotia. We got George's Island behind me and a couple cruise ships in, so I hope you enjoy. Con number one, Halifax is having trouble with its rental market right now. For several years, we have seen rental vacancy rates hovering around 1%, which means that it's very hard to get a hold of a rental. And in the last few years, as more and more people have moved here, we've also seen an increase in the rental rate. So it's both a combination of it being harder to find rentals as well as higher rental prices. Con number two, Halifax has a pretty high cost of living and a low, relatively low wage. So although there's this stigma that Halifax and the East Coast is cheaper overall, we do have lower wages. And for this reason, we actually have quite a few uh, offshore finance companies that actually have offices set up here and employ people to work in their international company uh, just because it is cheaper labor. But food, gas and rent are all relatively quite high when comparing to these wages. Con number three, Halifax and Nova Scotia as a whole have relatively high taxes, some of the highest in the country. So when you're making that move here, whether you're moving to Canada and having to increase your tax rate already, or you're moving to the East Coast and Atlantic Canada, because we produce less stuff than the rest of the country, we have higher taxes. This is also due to the fact that our province has a relatively higher age range overall and a few other factors. So if you are moving here, do some due diligence on how much you're gonna be making and what price bracket you're gonna fall into when the tax man comes. Con number four, Halifax and Nova Scotia as a whole, like the rest of Canada, have a bit of an issue with healthcare. So although we do have hospitals and our emergency care is very, very high level, um, sometimes dealing with family doctors or long-term waits, stuff like that, it's gonna be not as simple to get seen. Right now we have about a 100,000 person waiting list in the whole province for family doctors, so that's something you're gonna have to take into account as well. Finally, con number five, Halifax, like every other port city, is gonna have its fair share of rodents and whatnot that just come with being close to the ocean. You don't really see them during the day or anything like that, but sometimes at night if you're walking home, from the bar or out on the street or something like that, you're gonna run into maybe a rat or a mouse or something like that. Nothing too too sketchy. But the other thing you might find uh, more up in the neighborhoods is raccoons. So they're just kind of a larger rodent that will get into your garbage and we have them all across Canada. But those are two little critters that come with the city. Now folks, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to leave a like or comment on another pro or con that you may know of if you're from Halifax, as well as give me a follow. It'll help me boost in the algorithm so more people like you can find me and prepare for their move to Halifax. So pro number one, Halifax has a relatively low crime rate when looking at other cities in Canada. So if you're moving from a metropolis with a bit of a higher crime uptick, or even some folks that I've talked to who are coming here from outside of the country in areas like South and Central America or parts of the States, then you're gonna really find that Halifax has a safe feeling about it. You really don't have to worry about walking at anywhere at any time of day. You're gonna feel safe wherever you go. Pro number two, Halifax has access to some phenomenal post-secondary opportunities. So if you're looking to do a graduate program or even start an undergrad program or get a trade, we've got all that covered here. You've got Dalhousie University, St. Mary's University, Mount St. Vincent University, as well as Nova Scotia College of Art and Design and Nova Scotia Community College. Each one of these schools specializes in, I guess, a different aspect of education. So depending on what you're looking for, we're gonna have it here and it's a great way for you to kind of improve your standing or improve your overall education level as well. Pro number three, although Halifax has seen a pretty big uptick in our home prices over the last few years, you're still gonna be able to find those affordable options within 30 minutes of the city in our suburbs. So if you're moving from one of these bigger cities that has these million dollar homes in the suburbs, you're gonna move here, you're gonna be able to find something with a few bedrooms, a standalone home for about 350,000, easily within about 25 minutes of the city. So that's a really big draw for a lot of people that wanna move here and actually purchase a home. 
Number four, Halifax has some great trade infrastructure built. We've got two ports. One, you can see the cranes behind me back there and another one's in, inside of the basin, but we've also got rail that leads across the country and we're smack dab in the middle of NATO, which is kind of cool if you're looking to build supply routes to both Europe and the States. So along with all that stuff, we also have quite a few incubators to get a startup or a company going, whether you're a new immigrant or somebody who's already building a business. There's a ton of money here for entrepreneurs to build employment that they can employ other Nova Scotians with. Number five, Halifax and the Maritimes as a whole have some very friendly people. So if you're gonna move here, you're gonna find community, a welcoming vibe here. Other than that though, the size of the city is also not too big and not too small. You're gonna have all the amenities that you have in a big city while not having that huge big city kind of hustle and bustle. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this list of pros and cons for living in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Once again, I'm Tom Moore. I work with Remax Nova here in Halifax. Tune in next week for another one of these videos and have a great day.